I'm Ann McAvick at the Live News Desk, taking a live look at the White House this afternoon, where President Biden's landmark bipartisan infrastructure bill is on his desk awaiting his signature. And here's a closer look at what that includes. $110 billion to repair aging highways, roads, and bridges. $105 billion to modernize rail and public transit. $65 billion each to strengthen the electrical grid and expand broadband access. And $55 billion dollars to upgrade water pipes. The vast majority of the thousands of jobs will be created don't require a college degree. There'll be jobs in every part of the country. And a live look now at Capitol Hill, where the next challenge is the president's nearly $2 trillion social spending plan known as the Build Back Better bill. That includes money for climate change, universal pre-K, and prescription drug reform. But House Democrats are having an internal cost battle, and the bill is facing an even tougher climb in the 50-50 Senate. We're going to do everything we can to stop it dead in its tracks. I think this will be the biggest pro-child bill that will have been done in the history of this country, even if some pieces of it are still being negotiated. Now, with no GOP support, that means all 50 senators would have to get behind that bill. Democrats hope to have it passed by Thanksgiving. We'll keep an eye on it. Back to you.